The Apple Watch, it's something I use, frankly, every day, and I think a lot of us do use. And one of the projects I've been working on recently is to get a cohesive collection of every prototype of the first gen Apple Watch. And in the process, I did find something incredibly cool. This right here, this is one of the earliest dev boards for the first gen Apple Watch. It has a little sip that just drops in right there with a bunch of little contact pins in this awesome little custom enclosure. Locks into place right that. It's got its little digital crown, a misplaced home and side button, an antenna here, even an awesome hardware lab sticker. There's a missing config sticker, but almost everything else is there. Display and back button. Unfortunately, it's missing the speaker, which would be soldered on, and a battery. Although this is identical to what was shown in the Design by Apple in California book. And this is honestly the last outside of one EVT revision I need of every type of prototype Apple Watch for the first generation. However, there is a problem with it and I do need some help. Now, luckily, like many prototypes, if you just plug it into power, it will go ahead and turn on. Give the little power button a press. After a little bit of tinkering and a cable change, it does turn on. As fortunately, a lot of prototypes like these will just go ahead and boot up given the right kind of power supply and everything, or at least enough pieces connected. The speaker and the battery aren't necessary for boot, and it does take a while, as interestingly enough, this is a first gen Apple Watch. However, it has actually been updated to, I believe 4.3.5 or whatever is the last version of watchOS that these support. If we let it boot up, we will see my problem. <laughs> Now that we finally turned it on, you'll see the issue that I have. It goes to the setup screen. Now, not all hope is lost because if I get the right little button combination to trigger, just took a screenshot. It's not what I'm going for. Oh, now it's restarting. Whew, it's gonna be a minute. As you can see, the thing is horribly janky, but that's not really my problem. My issue more so lies in the fact of it is unactivated and it does need to be set up. Now, not all hope is lost because I'm not sure if I can invoke the menu, but it does show tap to radar in one of the settings menus and it is running an internal build with full serial access. However, I am not super knowledgeable about the ways of trying to potentially bypass activation on an Apple Watch. As I said, it is running an internal build of watchOS 4 and it has full debugging capabilities. The build is a little broken as you can see by it restarting, but it does all intensively work and it has full internal apps. So my hope here was in the process of me trying to get my comprehensive all Apple Watch ever video to ask you, the community, to help me in bypassing activation on this watch so I have a lot more to show you than just me turning it on and kind of sitting here. This unit itself is super interesting with there being a whole bunch of headers to control different functions. If we unplug it and look at the back, there's all of these debug points and dip switches to control different device functionality. It's a super, super awesome piece of hardware and I really want to be able to show more off about it, but I can't right now. So if you know anything, please DM me on Twitter, hit me up in the comments, however it may be. Would love to talk to someone and get this thing bypassed. I know this video is short and not what you want to see, and I promise the full dive into first-gen watches will be amazing. Please like and subscribe and let me know down below.